fits what I'm doing. Ordering the front seat covers anyway. Happy day. Now sighting down the uh, panel, I only see this one little whoop de doo you know, between here and say the fender well going all the way across. I haven't examined all down here, but that's my only little problem. It seems a little wavy up top, but actually that's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the wax and grease remover drying. So, yep, that's it really. Okay. Now that doesn't look like much, but that's a good thing because that's filling in the hole. So, I think uh, I did much better. I mixed up an appropriate amount. I skim coated it in the shallow spot, which I think is there. I got a, you know, I could finesse that a little better. I guess it was a little too aggressive feather edging, but getting better. And like I said, the light makes all the difference. All right, so this is the next day after that last shot. And it's obviously all kicked, ready for sanding. And I, uh, it kicked really fast, even though I put on less hardener than I thought was required, because I wanted a little more working time. Yeah, well, it's, you can't see on the spreader, but there was a huge, huge glob, so live and learn. Yeah, I think you learn through experience. Well, most people do. I, I'm not quite sure what the uh, mechanism is of my learning. We'll, we'll figure it out. I debated whether or not I was going to do a segment like this, and I decided what the hell. It's a dumbass garage. I thought I would show the things that I'm learning this time through, doing the body work, redoing the body work, uh, with these 500 watt lights. So one thing I discovered when I was working on this before, I had a bunch of high spots that were like bad high. They, they, they shouldn't have been there. So I'd been chasing my tail around there because I was getting a false indication of where the panel should be. So I took my hammer and I smashed them down as best I could and then went over it with filler again using these lights and I was getting much better information as to where the highs were and then find the real lows from there. Uh, it's a lot easier to learn when you can see what you're doing and you get a better feedback. So, And this is actually more enjoyable going through this phase because I feel like I'm really learning because I can see what I'm doing. So, We'll see. So I figured out metal glaze well enough to skim the whole panel in one go uh, without too many globs or dry spots, no dry spots actually, and then uh, guide coat. So that's baking under the propane heat just to sort of help it along so that I can sand it again tonight. No, and here's another aspect to learning to do this stuff with help from YouTube. I can show you a video of this panel, but you really don't get any idea for what it really looks like, like the contour of it and everything. Um, even going into the the shine of the light, you know, it looks like there's something going on here, but that's just like the cut of the sandpaper in there. Because I did a wax and grease remover, gloss over it, and it looks perfect that way. I mean, still have a little bit of something going on here maybe. Well, now I can't feel it. So, you know, it looks one way, but it feels perfect. And then when I put the, the wax and grease on it, the wax and grease remover, it looks perfect. So, I did have tape on this edge before to keep me from... I kept dripping filler on it because the metal glaze is so runny. And that was a pain in the ass to keep cleaning off. So I put some tape there and I've got a little bit of an edge 
I need to take down. Same thing up here. But the panel is panel is perfect. Maybe a little something there. Uh, it just needs a little more sanding. So, yeah, 